Tito Polo back to the top of the order for the West Virginia Power to lead off the inning against Luis Cedeno. He delivers a first pitch fastball for a strike on the inside part of the plate. So Cedeno, who had his no-hit bid broken up in the fifth inning on a leadoff infield single by Ryan Nagel, back out there for his sixth inning of work as Polo sent a breaking ball to the backstop on a foul tip. And it is no balls and two strikes quickly to the West Virginia Power center fielder. Here's the 0-2. Just missed off the plate, maybe a little low. It's one ball and two strikes now to Polo. A native of San Andres Islas in Colombia. The 1-2 offering for the native Venezuelan jammed him inside. He hacks that one foul into the West Virginia Power dugout. Polo, short but strong. He's five foot nine, listed at 186. If you go up and see him in person, I mean, you can tell he is ripped. The one-two fouled off the end of the bat. That's a strong guy, a little guy up there, five foot nine, but he's cranked a couple out of here at Joseph P. Riley Jr. Park. And it, it's not, you don't hit two cheapies out of the Joe. He's ripped a couple over the left center field wall once in this series already as the one-two pitch misses outside and it's two balls and two strikes. I mean, five foot nine, 180 some pounds. That's pretty thick. He's a strong guy. And Luis Cedeno, the finesse pitcher, will try to work carefully around him. Here's the 2 2 pitch, swing and a miss. Thought he got a piece of it for a moment, a foul tip it, but it's a strikeout swinging by Tito Polo here to lead off the sixth. 